the madman. Your soul shall be mine. I will. What do you, what do you like about this hand? All I know you... is I called time out a two star card, so we should probably mulligan it. Yes, we should mulligan it. A two star card? Wait, is one the best or five the best for you? <laughs> uh oh. I people do the, the, the rating system differently, so. I mean, I'm assuming one is the lowest. Yes. The light dim. Am I wrong, dog? Might be wrong. Uh, timeout is a very good card. The thing is, I had no idea this would be a good deck. And I actually didn't think that timeout would make it good, but. It's only, like, uh. Timeout's only good in a scenario where you can, uh. Where you can make it. Uh, like an OTK deck, right? Yeah, like I was in, actually uh, watching your stream the other day, and I was, I was like, I tuned in at just the right time where you played time out and then made them commit more on the board, and I was like, oh yeah, that's really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like good to stall, and it's good for like, like against a control deck, right? All we're really looking for here, what is the best card to draw a trumpet? Not not next turn, just in general. What's my what's my most card? I don't even know what's in this deck to be honest. Oh. I have some general ideas. Okay, okay. I think we're just gonna cycle. I don't really care about the two. I'm gonna cycle here. Job done. So we're looking for call to arms. It's the most important one. Because it cycles our deck five cards. Or it cycles our deck uh, three cards because it pulls it from our, our deck. And then if you have loot hoarders, it cycles it more, like, more you know? It was like yeah, that sounds insane. Good. Disgusting. Oh boy, this isn't looking good though. What do you like here? <laughs> I don't know about this one. I, I think <laughs> I would push the button. Yeah, it's either button or true silver. I'm not sure what's better. In the true silver world, do you ever think about hitting that mountain giant? Like, in that I would never hit the, no, 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 no. I would never double hit the mountain giant. I would think about hitting face, but I'm always terraming next turn, right? So it just depends whether or not I want to uh, like play the true silver to clean up the the. The giant, or if I want to just play the hero power. Me think. I think the hero power makes sense given that there's the steed and the sun keeper follow up. The champion is like reasonable too. I mean, obviously you're ranked nine, so I'm learning. No, I mean, I just, I just like play whatever. Um, I think I like the true silver side. Mm -hmm. The only reason because is like a lot of times he like plays stone hill and does nothing here, and uh, it's like I don't know. It's kind of similar, but like. Yeah, this also works better for me. Oh, yes. They'll serve me now. I'm a little spooked though. What if he just like... What if he like copies his Doomguard for this play? I guess we'll find out, right? We copy his Doomguard? What? No, 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 no. Like if we if we like kill this and then we play Tarum after. Like if he gets a Doomguard, he can cube it and then we like get destroyed. Let me think. But uh... I think we always punch into the lacking Tarum, right? Yeah, that sounds good. It's like scary. See what he gets here. Hopefully he gets like the HP. Cube is just so scary. <laughs> this deck doesn't run silence though, right? Probably not. Cube doesn't, generally. It's kinda silly how much information like you need to play Hearthstone. Like uh You kinda just have to know their lists, and that's why whenever you play against like newer decks or like lists that you don't really know. So much harder, and your runner goes like so much lower. Like I, I just want to like even just playing against hunters. Like we all know they've got Zuljin, but all the time I'm like, ah, they've got nothing left. I, I can use all my board clears, and then they play Zuljin, and they have a board, and I'm like, oh right. Right, because I'm cute. And silent also. All right. Things are looking a little grim here. So, I think we're, some like basics. Those brewmasters can't be played, can they? They are necessary. Uh, you can play one of them. Like uh, I run, I run a redundancy in the fact that I run our youthful brewmaster, but it can be pulled from call. But we have in hand clearly, right? I mean, if we're desperate, it seems like brewmaster hero power might be decent. But uh, I mean, hit the doom guard, of course. It's Thank either, you. from my perspective, it's either hero power or just <laughs> brewmaster hero power. So far behind. How much damage did we take? Oh, but we took the 8 and then we took the 3 and then we took the 3. Yeah. Sometimes I wonder if Aldor would be better in this deck. Like, uh, if Aldor, like, Aldor just... instead of like timeout would have been better there, right? It's kind of creepy. Yeah, the thing about the timeouts is they're good when you're at high health, right? 
Uh, they're just good whenever you're finishing it. Combo. So, like, you guarantee uh, the win one. whenever you have Uther out and you just start, like, hero powering and stuff. Oh, I see. So, again, some matchups you want them during the final combo phase, and yeah. some and aggressive the matchups you just want it in the mid-game. Yeah, 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 exactly. I guess I agree. You just tempo them out because it doesn't matter if you if you live, you generally win, right? Like, so against Zoo, I use it for mana. I use it for extra card draw to find my like, Yeah. Uh, against, yeah, against Control, I usually do it on the like, first turn, or against Shutterlock, you do it like, for the Shutterlock. Cube. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, there's Paul. So, the question here is do we want to play Call to Arms or do we want to Steed? How much like silence have these guys been running recently? I don't think they run any, but I'm not too sure. If that's the case, you'd even want to steed the big guy, right? Think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think I'm more inclined to use call right now because I want to find my equality. Because if I don't find equality, I'll lose. And he doesn't have any sense. chargers from this, right? It's like only he has damage a, right now. Yeah, yeah, he only has mountain giants, so I'm like not too scared. I think what's been really surprising to me is when I reviewed Flash of Light, I somehow forgot about Kangor. That makes it yeah. really good. I didn't. I, I thought Flash of Light would be a terrible card. I gave it like a like a. I don't know. I said it was like a three. I don't know. It's something bad. But yeah, the Steeds in this deck are just kind of to be aggro and like kind of put pressure on people whenever you can. But it's a little scary because sometimes you just lose if they have silence. You know. Good thing we're in a meta where we have to put on all the new cards, so there's no room for utility. <laughs> No, that's actually what happens all the time with my decks now, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to cut the ooze, the spellbreaker, the other stuff, and put the new stuff in. Thank goodness this isn't a Doom Guard. We would get destroyed. Oh, good back. Or. Hmm. Oh, uh, I think. I think I actually might play Uther here. Yeah, seems good. Like, uh, I don't have time to get it out later, and this is 8 damage, but we heal 10 now, so we're at 11, so we're at uh, 8, so it's uh, minus 2, plus 2 for us, so we're at 13. Okay. I like it. Yeah, it's scary. Um, we're still missing two combo pieces. We have both cards left in our deck. Figure it out. Okay, soon we can call a timeout. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Put a timeout on him, and then maybe we can get there. Also, next turn, if he doesn't develop this turn, like if he plays Void Lord, we don't even have to time out. We can just go power. Uh, think. Okay. Wait, you're a brew. Oof, scary. Um, so what do you like? What are you thinking right now? I mean, you have to walk me through the finishing combo here. Do we have one more way to get the like? What we is the finishing combo? But we also need to hero power like four times and get four different outcomes. Or three times. Three times. Because uh, you hold three in your hand and then you play all of them. Okay, so you still need to get the one Zola in your deck? One of Zola, if there are 11 cards left. That's it. So hmm. I guess this turn you have to. S I don't know, man. You carry this out. I don't know. I am going to say, yeah, that's definitely what I would do. Yeah, yeah, this is like. Kill a little. It's going to play Blood Rivers. If he has silence, we could technically die. There's four, twelve, there's eleven, plus Doom Guard is lethal. Uh but we'll win if we draw Zola and then we just time out, time out. Keep box yeah, kinda hard. I mean that looks like the most well, almost the most offensive play anyways, given that you do have to time out near the end. Exactly. We still haven't drawn an equality against this, so I mean like once we draw one, maybe we get another turn instead of a timeout. Like we're just trying to buy time. Mm -hmm. Scared. <laughs> I think we're gonna. I think we're gonna lose. The Doom Guard's the scary card. Everything else is kind of irrelevant. But basically, if you draw Zola and Equality in a reasonable amount of time, it seems like you're looking pretty good to win, right? Yeah, probably. I mean, if we draw Zola, I think we're pretty good to win, but uh, it depends. Like the chart. It'll be interesting to see if he trades in this cube. If he does, I think it's a mistake. So you should probably protect it against uh, the quality if it comes out. Yeah, I like not attacking with it. Okay. Um. So we want to. What, what are we doing this turn? We want to. We need to time out. So. Three, yeah, yeah. I think you bounce another with the brewmaster. Yeah. Let's see what we get first. As White main is different than Nazgrim, so that's good. I'll put it on your. 
Do I punch with my weapon? I, think I want the maximum healing. Oh yeah, I have timeout. I can timeout and then punch. Yeah. Yeah, so I heal. Oh, you ever drink here, that's a big deal. So now he can't copy his Doom cards, so he has very limited damage. So yeah, we have uh, we have 10 cards left, we have 2 Equalities, and we have 1 Zola, so there's 3 cards in our deck that are very strong. Um, everything else is kind of bad, though. When this yeah, at the same like, time, you only have a 50-50 of getting the right Horseman, right? Yeah, exactly. That's the scary part of the deck. That's where the Hearthstone comes in. <laughs> that's the best part. How exciting. How so exciting. If you draw equality, what's the plan? Is it to pyro and then steed and then equality? Probably. I haven't really thought about it too much. I, I think we do use the steed because oh, we do a consta. Okay, this is interesting. No way to clear it. So it's just got to be timeout, right? Root order or something. Pyro cons cons is six damage, so it'll leave him with two giants and we'll probably die. I wonder if we can just use the uh, the steed here. If that's too greedy. Oh wow, instead of a timeout. Uh, I think this is one of the most damages he'll ever have. That's fair. Yeah, that's a good point. And next turn we can just do I'm this. I'm also checking, would it possibly be good to use Consecration right now? Uh, just to oh, get that's ahead a good of time idea. if you draw the yeah, equality. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, good point. Okay, let's go timeout. Timeout, Consecration, Loot Hoarder. Yeah, that seems good. Yeah. Play. Mind if I roll need? So, we just kind of need... Our only out, I think, is actually the, the quality, though. But we have two draws for it, so it's a two out of nine. So it's a one out of nine, then a one out of eight, actually. It's a little bit better. Also, we have an out, because we can draw a Flash of Light and Potion of Heroism for the Lux to draw. I always thought uh, timeout was not going to be good, because this deck um, takes so many turns to win, but maybe those two extra turns do help. It's a lot of stall. It's a lot of stall. It's a giant board, though. <laughs> <laughs> He doesn't have any more cubes. He might be trying to dump his hand, yeah, to try to draw into Skull. Or Doom Guard, right? Wow. Okay. Well, no more timeouts. So, let's see if we can be quality. Here we go! We in it! I like Steeding now. What do you like? You for... I could thin my deck one right now, but I think I like uh, a quality pyro steed. Or I could go call and I pull my lap. I have one pyromancer left for call, that's it. Mm. I could get one card deeper. So is it crazy to hit the button and then make it so that he might have to spend mana to clear the guy? Because we might win if he doesn't. So that's I was fair. Thinking maybe a quality pyro cost. Equality hero power or equality consecration hero power. The frozen throne. Cool. That's interesting. I didn't think about that. <sighs> like the way they'd have to remove it, it would take four mana, right? Either the spellstone or the hellfire. Yeah, I think. Wow, that's interesting. You have to spend four mana to kill it. Yeah, you're right. I like to play more actually. Oh, not a gambler. Oh, you do like it. Oh, I like to play more. Oh, we missed. Oh. It's still it's still good because uh, it like increases the odds for Zola there. Oh yeah. You also might not be paying attention. <laughs> and we can see next turn up and whiff. That was my logic. Cause like we don't really need the steed up right now. So like yeah. if we whiff, we can just you know play the steed and we're happy. All these horsemen look the same. I think I might have forgotten. <laughs> yeah. The last guy. There's a the last team card. Last Void Lord and Umbra. Is that irrelevant? Great. Heroism. Can't hear a Yeah, we want to see this thing. Yep. Oh, the same one. We have five cards left. Oh no, this is looking grim. Um, We need to lift like two more turns at least. Actually, we have a we have a Lanissa, so that might be good. Oh, yeah. That Lanissa is gonna be so good if they don't have sounds. So I mean, it seems like almost all the cards are so good. You have an equality of Lanessa, and you have the Zola, which wins the game in a turn. 
Uh, yeah. Uh, only True Silver is bad. And we have a Flash of Light as well. So True Silver, Flash of Light, Zola, Lanissa, and Quality. But the only loser is the True Silver. Yeah, the True Silver is the absolute worst draw. But everything else is pretty okay. Lanissa is really good because he actually doesn't have anything for it, I don't think. It doesn't look like it. And Lanissa will draw the rest of our deck as well. Because uh, Lanissa draws Lanissa draws if you Flash of Light a minion. Did you know that? She'll draw if you know the Flash of Light card. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, she'll draw if you use on minion. I didn't know that. Kind of cool interaction. I want to be your full health. Should, uh, that's the last piece, so you might have to turn I'll try to pass it. Alright, I guess we just play Lanissa here. Yeah. We'll draw one. Gonna hero power instead, right? Yeah, this seems okay. so good. We got we got the right one. No but he has double hellfire in him, so. This is gonna come down to the wire. This depends if he has silence or not, right? Yeah. I wonder if even if he has silence if he would be able to kill you this turn. So many Yeah, we get two stegos from this. I bet this guy is probably gonna run silence after this. Yeah, this the beginning was really rough for us. That's kind of how games go a lot of the time, but most of the time you can like clear the early board of the true silver and not have an issue. So many possibilities. No water boy in your deck for mana two times hero power. You can't double hero power with water boy. <laughs> water boy is actually just a uh, two mana two one, right? Yeah, Always. it's like a zero mana two one if you're using the hero. Yeah, it's a zero. Yeah, yeah, it's a zero mana two one. So it's like a better whistle. Yeah, you're right. I value any value sometimes because it. Because Lanessa punishes no silence so much. So we might just win if we quality after he Blood Reavers, right? Does he have anything? Does he use both giants and bases? <laughs> Look at him, he's trying to stay alive. <laughs> the Flash of Lights try to find our thing. Probably on our Lanissa? Or do you think on our face? I, I'm not sure where. I think, um, Lanessa. Since okay. he doesn't have silence, this is basically as good as face. There's a lot, so we only need, we need oh, any one of these God. that's not these. We have yeah, Nazgrim and White Oh, nice. You gotta rub it for good luck. <laughs> okay, I rubbed it. <laughs> Alright, I trust you. Trust the sub. Oh, it's square oh, one! No rest. Woohoo! Oh, this is so exciting. Couldn't you have traded there? Ah, it doesn't matter. It doesn't really matter, but... Oh, you don't even have to use the hero power. Yeah, it's true. Oh, we do have to use the power. We also have to use the power. Oh, it's the same one. Never mind. Wow. Death was me. I leveled all the pieces. Actually once though. Shout out to timeout. Time yeah, that was also a good one. Hmm. Uh, I don't like this. Versus Uther. I will fight with honor. I okay, so when they're Paladin, they're usually odd or um, it's a mirror match. None of this so stuff is good, right? Huh? Yeah, none of it's good. We want uh we want Consecrate, Wild Pyromancer, Call to Arms, and Uther we would keep. Mm -hmm. So maybe we'd keep a two drop like a loot hoarder, but I doubt it. Usually I just full mole. Haunts is okay. None will survive. That's odd. Mm -hmm. This is gonna be fun to see if he can stave off the aggression. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm out holds a ton against this deck though, because like it gives you the time you need to get to like Uther and then Steeds and then they just fall apart. Reporting it's more about uh whether or not they run an owl. I've lost an owl a lot. Hmm. I think I like hero power more than flash. Next turn I can Reporting for duty. Reporting for duty. <laughs> That's all. Ocean. A little scary. 
What do you like? I like Flash right now. I think it's the only play that I can make. Yeah, I mean, this is a matter of experience. I, Since I'm inexperienced, I would consider Hero Power, but Flash is probably better. Yeah, I think we need a cycle. Once we drop Pyro, we can win. But for right now, we need to Flash. Yeah, it makes sense. Oh my face. It's hurting me, Trump. Stop him. Oh no! Pyro would be so good. I think we're gonna cycle, what do you think? Yeah, I guess so. Yep. I think we need to find Pyro really badly. We go ahead and use a uh, potion on his minion. And then next turn we'll time out if we don't find Pyro. So much pressure. Let's see if he has level up. I think. My face. So painful. Dog, I'm gonna have to call a timeout now. <laughs> oh, maybe. <laughs> Never mind. Pyro coin equality or pyro coin taunts? Is it better to bait him into like one more turn with the timeout now or is it better to timeout later? I like timeout now actually. I'm fine with it, but we just get an extra mana. What do you like? We can timeout now or we can just uh, clear the board. The timeout's actually really relevant right now because. Uh, we stop, uh, we, he can't play anything really. So I think timeout's Let good. Me yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, I took too long with that turn, so he probably knows I have removal, but... It's just, uh, Divine Favor's the only punish, I think. It's not for his, uh, his Vine Favor, so it's... Reporting for duty. That was the quality, it's better to use than the Consecration, right? Yeah, it's gotta be. Not sure. The problem with using the equality here, like if he plays Vine Cleaver, and then he goes Vine Cleaver into Hero Power into uh, level up, we can't clear it. Let me think. But I think mm. I like developing more. Like we gotta develop the loot order the other way. I guess I go with Pyro. Point of quality. I like it more. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Would be better. Yeah. High breaker is probably loot order is good. I think even without the loot order, I would go equality anyways, but. I'm more optimistic than you are. It just, if you have people, we're probably dead. We are probably dead. Okay. Oh no, our quality. Oh no. Oh. I'm sorry, I led you astray. I, I think I would have made the play well. But you have a Vine Cleaver. I'm gonna go ahead and play Call. Get Righteous Protector. I don't think we're winning with Consecrate here. I don't think we're winning with anything else. I don't think, at least. We're looking for Righteous Protector. We might be dead, but I think it's the only play that can let us live. Too bad. I also forgot about what? the fact that you can pyro, well, what they call the arms in. That. Oh yeah, I forgot about that also. I evaluated it as well. I thought it was fun. So we're dead to Leroy. What's it? Oh. Nice. <laughs> Well, it's too bad the Consecration play might have won. I mean, might have won one more time. I don't know. Sure. Okay. What do you like? What would what would uh, Trump do? You know, you were the first. You're the first person to teach me Hearthstone. Oh, thanks. Now you're yeah. teaching me this deck. This is a pretty complicated deck. Oh, um, I'll keep I think silver. I would toss it all. I think I need true silver. Oh, what are we, we choose over against? We need to kill one of the minions. Like, if he plays, like, a Radiant Elemental or a Cleric or anything. It's just, like, we don't have to commit an Equality or anything like that. Okay. Yeah, that's that's, that out. convinced me. I just, I just don't have any idea what priests are doing these days. What yeah, have you seen? Uh, the hardest one is, uh... Greetings. A lot of times they play, like, the Templeless, but... Okay, well, he's Quest. But, uh... All times I play like Radiant Elemental, it's gay, and that's really hard to move. Well, is he Quest or is he maybe Topsy Turvy? Could they possibly be doing so well? Right oh, now? Uh, Topsy Priest is probably bad for us. Yeah, I was thinking Topsy beats us to the win, right? Yeah, it's a little bit faster, but if you're if we get it like quick enough, in time out, calls enough. But oh, we just yeah, have to be time out. Might buy the time. Yeah, yeah. time out. For duty. 
If it's just Quest Priest, though, it should be an easy matchup, right? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Free win, probably. Uh, I'm just not sure about next turn. Like, Coin Call is pretty good, but also True Silver by itself is good. He's cycling. It looks like it's Topsy. Oh, <laughs> yeah. If he's cycling this aggressively, then it probably means it's Topsy. If he's aggressively cycling, do we want to value Call more to thin it out to increase the odds that we draw the hero? The, the problem is, if we, I go True Silver and then I go Call, I have to waste the coin anyways. Because uh, I probably draw, like, Loot Quarter or Thalnos. And I'll cycle too much. Um, yeah, but at least you can play a Righteous then. I think it's worth the true. I don't know what you would use the coin for, but I I've just, been known to hold on to the coin until I die. Just scared he's going to scream this into our deck if we play it on turn 5. Like, he just takes the damage and then screams it on turn 7. I don't have anything, you know? Okay. I'm pretty sure we have, you can sure we have to play Call. Yeah. Like, it's just really, like... It's a little scary. Like, this is pressure he has to deal with, right? Like, he has to mass hysteria this. He has to do something. Mm -hmm. uh, whereas if we, like, if we just play True Silver, he gets to do whatever he wants, and then he maybe just, like, takes the damage next turn, and then screams, and then we're, like, back to square one. Yeah, he's definitely top seed. Oh, maybe not. Maybe he just... Oh, alright, let's cycle this. Oh, that's weird. I don't want this loot order. Let's... let's... Lots of pressure. We're chilling. So it's probably turned into he's a con he's gotta just be a quest priest then. Yeah, I think just a quest priest. He could be topsy with it, but I doubt it. It's kinda weird the way he was playing his like like he played powered shield and then he played his ooze, right? He didn't go ooze powered shield. So he's still probably some kind of combo deck. Seems like he's very focused. This quest isn't nearly complete. Should I quality this board? <laughs> what? Am I missing something here? I don't want him to scream. <laughs> I don't want him to scream. <laughs> Let me think. Uh I'm scared, like if he screams our whole deck is like garbage. <laughs> you know what I mean? He's so I guess the half measure is to just pass? It could be Mecha Thune. Yeah, we could just pass. I'm fine with passing. That's passed. I'm fine with it. <laughs> that's, uh, that's some good thinking, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, all I would just press the hero power like a dummy. Uh, you got, I mean, it just dilutes your draw so much. It's scary. But yeah, the uh, key play is okay. Now the question is, though, what are we going to be able to waste next turn? Yeah. Not necessary. Okay. We didn't wait to be fall. Alright, good stuff. Play the uh, Righteous? Yep. Let's start beating the season. Yeah, Righteous. Should I play Kangler? Just sit? Uh, sure. I just kinda wanna, like, dump it. Seems like a pretty minor point one way or the other. Oh, I would've done the hero power there. Yeah, I'm a little scared. It might help though, like we might draw Tarum and it might have been lethal, you know? You think he's gonna psychic scream this board? Uh, I think it's possible if we hear a power. I mean, he's under pressure, right? Like, what could his hand be to where he hasn't played anything for this many turns? A spoiler, he's still a topsy turvy priest? Yeah, actually, I think he might be. He might just be running uh, Ooze for Kingsbane or something. Get me out of here! Oh. What? Ooh. This is a bit spicy. Like. I'm confused. Wait, this is awesome. Alright, should cycle, right? Alright, Ooh. Wait, shouldn't you kill this uh test subject? Consist probably. Oh right. Yep. I can go ahead and hear a power here actually. Because we got it? Yeah. This is one combo piece. He might be doing like some kind of seance priest with like grave horrors. That could be possible. But we might be dead here as well. Yeah, we're dead. Oh my god. Time out there. Yeah, it's a little too fast. Oh wow, he didn't see the ball when he got it all. I don't think you can count on him having that on turn 9 exactly. 
Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's why. That's a huge hydro. I think we do it with her. That's good. He can still mess up. Good. Spare. I think he got all the actions and he already backed up the doors, right? Amara looks kind of bad for me. He's got some spicy cards in there, though. I like it. Yeah, let's, that, was, that was, was really interesting. I wonder why he chose to run the for the sounds. I'm proud to be everything open it. Wow. Yeah, I think you still run Seance over Zola though. That was interesting. All right, are we ready to do Zola? I don't think he runs Seance. Like I don't, I wouldn't run Zola in the deck, but uh, Seance is okay. Um, I don't think he runs all of it. That'd be kind of weird. Maybe he didn't want to dilute his draws for uh, Shadow Visions, right? I haven't thought about it, but Seance is almost like Vivid Nightmare when it comes to. Yeah, you can actually go. You can automatically get a test subject back no matter what. Because you just uh, test subject and seance it, and you automatically get this test subject back, right? Yeah, I'll have to wrap my head around that, but that got me thinking. I will fight with honor. I will command the light. So, Zoo? I mean, not Zoo, uh. Odd, right? Oh, that's right, you played against this guy. So that was a good hand. To it, right? I don't know, um, do you keep the champion and the hoarder? I don't think we keep champion against odd, right? I think we just keep the pyro, and then we look for called arms instead of loot hoarder. Because hero powering on two is the same as playing loot hoarder, except we get a cycle, I guess. So maybe it's worth keeping. I don't know. You have more experience on this than I. I think cycle. I think mulling it is the same as keeping it. In a lot of cases, I like mulling it. To try to find call because uh, okay. all is Makes sense. more important. And pyro as well. Okay, this hand's weird. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Got him. New cards. Serenite Taskmaster. I guess it's good if you're running Ripper. Reporting for duty. I think it's just good. Yeah, this is a pretty good card. Oh, cycle. Alright, so. What do you like? I like. I like Loot Order. I like it also. <laughs> Where you just. Gotta take it, man. Sanity checking yourself? I'm not too greedy, am I? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll always get a greedier line than I. Uh, you'll always get the greedier line from my side. Hmm. Reporting for duty. I might like time out. out. Yeah, I might actually time out. I like it right now. So I guess the goal against aggro is to just always time out before you clear, right? Yeah, almost always. I mean, it depends how well the early game goes, right? This is a good turn for it, though, because we also get the Taskmaster, right? Like, uh, the, the buff, and then we can uh, hide it behind the Kangor. Oh yeah, it's gonna be really good. Yeah. Didn't play anything, so... A quality Pyro Coin Kangor. Yep, looks good. Can even follow it up with the uh, True Silver. Go for four, nice. <laughs> He doesn't want to rip it this either, because of the pyro will live. It's pretty good turn. Dun, dun, dun. This can grow yeah, really know. big, I predict. This deck's kind of cool with like the way you have to play control turns, but I think people will get a lot better at playing around it, because you know they can like develop or do something else when you timeout. Yeah, what did he do right after timeout? He just passed, right? He didn't do anything, he passed. 
That was good. Yeah, he didn't want to commit anymore. Wow. Oof. Okay, um... So I guess we trade the Pyro. Then yep. we play two Silver, kill the 3-4, go face and heal us for a lot. Yeah, what a turn. Yeah, so trade that, heal us. That uh, Coingor is uh, providing, what is it, like, eight points of healing already. Yeah. Yeah, actually, probably more. Really good. Like, almost guaranteed to heal for at least, I don't know, another six more? Yeah. So, so good. So good. You can probably hide him again. Just speed him. And also spin our deck more. I don't know. Uh, let's see, what do we pull from Call? We pull a Loot Hoarder and double Righteous Protecting. We can almost Hero Power and play Steed, right? Next turn? I was also thinking, is Pyro Call to Arms? Does that make any sense? No, it doesn't. That's terrible. It would, it would kill our, our stuff. Pyro Call to Arms does power. everything, though. But yeah, I, I think I like Call Hero Power a little bit more. Pyro Call wasn't bad though. I was thinking about that for a while. Because we like pretty much clear everything. And it also plays around uh, like playing around Divine Favor, it looks like he's dumping his hand a lot, right? So playing around favor is like kind of relevant. Yeah, I mean it looks it looks good and then it looks terrible and then it looks not so bad. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Man, these rights protectors can go like they can get so much value against like the biggest things. Like sometimes against Q block I'll just play it when they play their giant and just like it's like four timeouts. Yeah, I know, I know, exactly. I don't know if Serenade can pass. I don't know. Kind of interesting. I think it's really bad, but I'm not sure if they are. There's the favor. Reporting for duty. I must move quickly. So I'm not out of the woods yet. We just have timeout already. Ooh. I like Pyro Steed. What do you like? Oh, it was, uh, my instinct was Pyro Consecration. I don't think we use that much board clear. I wonder. Pyro Steed. We use the True Silver Charge because we're going to play Uther next oh, turn. Oh, I see. What are we steeding? Steeding the Pyro. Okay, yeah, that looks good. That way he has That's to deal. Really that just ended the game. Pretty much. I mean, we should get there. We have two bouncers, we're only missing one. We don't have timeouts for years, so I think we'll be okay. Mole shield there. <laughs> yeah, he's cute. I don't know, I thought the 2-3 card was insane when I reviewed it. I thought it was like a 4.5 out of 5, or 5 out of 5, like, one of the best cards. But the more I see it, the more I think it's bad. It just makes their clear turn so much stronger. Hey dog, what a sweet turn, almost as sweet as Pushy's chocolate. <laughs> there you go. The light's justice has failed. The one five, one four. I think I just called the stone hill. Okay. Probably doesn't matter at the moment. Autopilot this thing to the victory. <laughs> well, I should probably turn. The giveaway is now over. The T3 is an active card to control like Zombie Chow. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it even is. Played one steed. Let's go ahead and just start bouncing. So. Death was merely a setback. I'll put it on your tail. Oh. The thing about this deck is like if you when you're trying to get like the right hero power, like if you keep getting the same one, if you you like hero power first, you usually like play Lanissa instead, right? Uh, yeah. so you have to, you have things to do instead if you miss your hero power, and that's kind of the point of it. That's like one moment where you were actually greedier than I was. I was gonna consecration that turn. 
I was thinking. We do have another console, so it wasn't bad, but I don't know. I think I'm used to. Was merely a setback. This dungeon reeks of magic. Another round? What's better to do I just save my weapon here actually? Yeah, I think so. I kinda like it. It's gonna punch me too. Alright, no more Nazgrims. We don't want them. <laughs> Collect the full set. I was actually thinking in this matchup, um, Speak your is it common to try to go for that win condition, or maybe you just uh, move two twos? Usually, yeah, you almost always win at this. Point. Uh, in my experience, maybe I go for too much. I mean, I think you start just saving the two twos on the board from here on out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna constantly. No rest. We're gonna try to collect two sets of horsemen. Ambitious. <laughs> there's not enough. There's only eight or seven spots on board. Not eight. That'd be cool. Like double death. You could do, <laughs> no, you could do that. You'd have to play two minis at the same time. I guess you could cube and then they would spawn. What? Do, okay. How does that work with cube? Do you have to play them? What? No, you just have to have all four. So yes, you could hide them in a cube. Okay. If you have all four, yeah. It's weird because they don't even have text on them. Like they, I feel like they should have text that says it, but maybe not. The victory is yours. Uther Ooh, I'm interested in seeing how this uh, works against. It should work well against the slow mage stack, right? It might be an aggro mage. A lot of people have been playing it, but we'll see. Um, yeah, I guess slow mage we should win pretty handily. Um, I think, what, what would you do for the mulligan? There's two options. I would toss it all, but I'm interested in hearing what this yeah, other I would toss. I would toss it all also. The other option is keeping Thalmos, but as I said before, I think looking for the call is more important. Yeah, I, for, I would keep True Silver, though, because if he's aggro mage, you want that. That makes sense. Um, yeah. None will survive. Uh, okay, let's go for us. Here, I guess. It's kind of crazy how important calls in this deck. You just cycle everything. It's really good. David Card. Coin Turk. I wrote. He wants to put pressure on us. Go ahead and cycle. That's why True Silver is try to stop this. I was trading. Oh, it draws in the card. Well, this isn't good. Do I even hero power? I think you just pass. Yeah. This is bad. I could lose. Mm. One turn. I think. What's what I just play? It? Yeah, I think you still play it and just pass. equip it. But pass? yeah, okay. I was thinking of punching. We can go comps, but I think passing is probably better. Is it better? What's bad is if he. Plays his ooze, but I mean, whatever. If we punch it, we can go Pyro Cons next turn. It's okay. I think it's a little bit overkill to go for that. Okay. Mm. Sorry. But, you know, I could be wrong. Yeah, 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 no. I, I think you're right. I don't know how much 4 damage a turn is. It doesn't seem like that much, though. It's kind of a lot. Playing board's pretty nice. I'm still not quite used to. When the times of pyro and when the times of consecration are better. Yeah, I think a lot of times you use the higher mana one. That way later you can use the lower mana one. That's uh That's like if yeah, you have time for it. Oh yeah, dude. It's sneaky. Steed. Maybe I just play the Sunkeeper? I don't know. I think it's hmm. I was my instinct was pass, but we can pass. Pass is fun. 
pass into two drop into six drop is okay. Two into pass into like this is okay. Into Kangor into Steed. I think I would go for Hero Power Steed over Kangor Steed though. Why is that? Uh, because of the Voodoo doll. Do you think? Uh, I mean, sometimes I don't think you can play around it though, right? Like, I guess you're saying we want to save it for the Flash of Light. Yeah, I mean that deck can actually be aggressive enough that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This deck is aggressive a lot of times. Plus, he didn't play a lot. But if he doesn't have it, don't we win? Um. Hmm. Pretty optimistic. You think so? That's the only removal, right? It's a two out of whatever, and you don't keep it in the matchup. All right. I think I think we're behind enough to where we kind of have to do it right now. It's, it's bad, but I really think we're behind. Like we're we're probably dead soon sooner rather than later. Mage is good at getting there in the very end with blaze callers and stuff. So if he has it, yeah, I like your call. Like even though he's statistically more likely to have voodoo doll, this is the right play. Yeah, I got it. It's fine. I have to go from. Okay, so we can go with Linnessa this turn. Damn, it all came down to that one true silver draw. One turn late. Okay, so he pushes two this turn. That's this turn. Call is good. Call comps looks like the play. Do we comps first or after? Probably first, right? Yeah, because you don't want to power your own stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Now I wish we kept that Kangor. <laughs> I missed it. She has Jaina. There's Jaina. Jaina's actually not terrible, right? Think. Might choose the Terra Monster. Ooh. Oh, that's that interesting. Do we play it? I still think it might be True Silver Terra. Because we can't attack again after this. No, you're right. Yeah, True Silver Terra is there. Yeah. Good call. I would just instinctually play the Uther and then. Where is our Kangor Trump? <laughs> Where is it? <laughs> Why did we murder him? Gotta not be results oriented. Like oh, I actually exactly. don't know which play was better, but you won me over. Yeah, I think it was I think it was the play I suggested. What do you think of Lanissa here? I think it's the only play you can make. Yeah. Oh, the spell pattern. What do you think about Zillion, Vanessa? I dislike it. Yeah, I dislike it. It's okay. Not really what we want to do, but he's out of, um... He's out of Voodoo's, and it looks like we'll die if we don't. I like it, okay. Yeah. You're right. You're right. You're simply right. Oh, he runs out! Dang, he's got the plays! Wow, attack! Yeah. This is how you put- this is how you aggro people. This guy's no- this Jaina knows where the face is. <laughs> yeah, let's flash our own face. Try to heal a little bit. Second one is- I wanna call you. I'm thinking if it might, right, might be right to play the Righteous there. I think we played on the Uther turn. That way it's more likely that we uh, can hit again. Oh yeah, that's good. And two timeouts left. If he just doesn't draw his, like, uh, Rag, I think we're... Yeah, he has a lot of those guys, though. Alright, 
hope it hits this 2 6. I'm out, sir. Oof. Is there any other play that we can do? I'm looking. I don't see a way out. I can draw one. No, I can't. Not with this. I mean, I think this is the only line going with this into face, but then I think we're dead. We're dead, right? If we play Uther? Yep. Yeah, there's too much damage. Yeah, and we can't even draw with this. Oh. Because we can't pyro and do anything else. Yeah, that thing is so deceptively aggressive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Odd Mage? Dang, we farmed. That was a good matchup, though. Yeah, it felt like it was so hard to get Uther out. We didn't have enough time to get Uther out. And we were like constantly on the back foot, so we couldn't like make our aggressive plays. Yeah, I was surprised. That um, owl pick really tipped it in terms of. Oh yeah, yeah, the owl was insane. I won in the game, like on the spot. I think owl is really strong. Okay, well, Doggo, thank you for showing me the deck and like teaching me. It's good yeah, stuff. Yeah, of course. Yeah, thanks, Chop. I'll uh, I'll talk to you later. I'll hang out with you. I'm sure.